Hi. Um, I'm going to add some footage on. I think part of it's off the telly because Laura's watching the news. And um, I've done some um, time lapse and straight time lapse as well, not sideways time lapse. Uh, around about the sort of time when all this was kicking off. Um, we've had some serious flooding in England. Northern England was under quite a lot of water in certain places. Um, and it's just the same old horse wash that, uh, that's come over the, the media and all this crap, you know. About two and a half months ago we were having hose pipe bans and a drought. <laughs> and then the following day it started raining it sort of kind of rained every single day up until about now and then we've had a couple of extremes of complete stupidness. And the hose pipe ban has now been lifted. Hmm, everything's drowning, but hey, crops not really growing too well. Um, in the sense of, you know, food crop. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think there's a bit of footage that I got off the news, and I'm not sure what camera I put that on, and um, and there's some time lapse. Okay, yeah, peace, love, and light. This woman's trying to bullshit everyone, saying, "Oh, you know, we've got some extreme weather, and it causes flooding." It's called geoengineering. Stop modifying the weather, and then maybe you won't get judged, you fucking brainwashed idiots. I have to. It's just fucking insane. Look, that woman's sitting there saying that they've got flood things in places, and we're getting extreme weather, and then blames it on climate change. Extent of surface water flooding is a big challenge. Do we go back then to the, the thorny issue of planning and planning permission and concrete jungles? Are we giving up too much of our land with concrete and creating nowhere for the surface water to go? Well, two things there. You'll know the planning system has been reformed uh, to put sustainable development at its heart. Obviously, it's not sustainable to build new housing in areas that are liable to flooding. So that should help prevent this problem going forward. Liar! Carolyn Spellman. Liar! 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 And Ulster Bank are extending their opening hours this weekend to help hundreds of thousands of customers who've had problems accessing their money. Hmm, a little bit of a warning for you there. Greece have had problems accessing their money. America's had problems accessing food stamps. And now we're having problems accessing ATMs. Hmm, is the economy about to collapse? I don't care if I've got food on my face. As you can see, it's natural style. It's fine. It was naturally put there by nature. Artificial tools.